Okay guys, welcome back to Our World Outdoors. If you're new here, please go down and hit that subscribe button so you can see all of our videos. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Ozark Trail Outdoor Equipment three-person tent. This is our car camping tent of choice. And this thing has been through it. I mean, through the ringer, every type of weather, every type of situation, every type of ground that you can possibly think of. So this was bought just like on a whim. It was uh, on sale for $23, I think it was, at the end of season at Walmart about two years ago. All right, since then, this thing has been borrowed out to people. It's been out on all kinds of trips, trails, kinds of conditions. It has been through the ringer. And it, it shows it, but it's not damaged. Now, when I got this thing, the first thing we did was set it up and spray it down with sealer. I sprayed the whole outside of the body of a tent video where I'm sealing tents and this one's in it and I just shot it all down with silicone spray and it was one of the best things I ever did for the longevity of this tent now this does have a separate rain flag goes over top so you can take that off what makes it vent nice it also has a pass through here if you wanted to use it for electric car camping at a site it has a door you can close up or open up to vent so these are all nice features, but what I like most about this is that it's self-standing, whereas a lot of our other tents, you have to have trekking poles. Now, if you saw the video, we took this thing to Virginia Beach and put it out on a beach and camped in it. Now, this was kind of heavy. This thing comes in at about six pounds. That's not a light tent, but as I said, this is a car camping tent. We generally don't use this to go out on backpacking trips that much. If I'm bringing a third person, we split the weight up over three of us. That's only two pounds, a little over two pounds each. So it's not bad. So if our son Shane's going, we can take this tent and then split the weight over the three of us. Now you'll see that the color scheme is kind of on the light. There is gray, but there's white and it's light gray. The nice thing about that is that the sun doesn't heat the inside up that bad. And if you take that top cover off, it really will let wind blow across and in and through. Now, when you're using this tent, the important part is to make sure that it's dry before you put it away. A lot of people complain about these tents having sun degradation as well. I haven't had that problem since we used the silicone spray. I attribute that to using the silicone spray and we've learned to do it every year religiously. In fact, every spring I will seal this, let it dry in the sun, I come back three hours later and I treat it with permethrin. By using the permethrin, it makes sure ticks aren't gonna climb up on it, bugs aren't gonna climb up on it, and that I'm protected at night when me and my wife and my kids or my grandkids or the dogs even are in there sleeping. Now, I wanna show you inside here the floor is more like a, a tarp and yes it's a mess because the last person to borrow this was my son Shane on his senior trip which was not really a trip they did a senior overnight next to the school and they had this thing on a hill and it was covered in mud as you can see it hasn't been cleaned up and it looks like he left change in it but you got the hanging pocket you got some straps back there on the top you got a ring that you can hang your light from and this is pretty sizable I would say for the layout the footprint it is a three-person tent and it does allow for you to lay down in there one thing I wanted to talk about in a little more detail is the size So you're running six foot six and it's the same the other way. That's a pretty good size tent. Some people would argue about that, but I can put three people in here super comfortably. I mean, there literally is no problem at all. Now my dogs, I can bring in here too because my dogs like to paw at stuff. And if I put them in my land shan, they will actually tear the bottom of it because it's only 20D nylon. This is more like the tarp material. It has thinned out over time. It doesn't let moisture up through, but you can feel that it's even thinned out. Some of that may be from the beach camping on it because that sand kind of is like running sandpaper across it, but 
it is really heavy duty tent it has been borrowed at least six times that i know of it has been out on many 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 trips with us i believe over the last two years it's probably seen about 24 to 26 trips and if you look real close i mean there's there's no degradation in that material i know this is a cheap tent and i have no expectations that this is going to be some great tent that lasts forever but i will say that it does sh shed rain just like it's supposed to it does sleep people comfortably if you take care of it it will last we are two years in and there is no sign that this tent is done at all i spend about seven dollars a year spraying it down with silicone that seven dollars actually does three tents so you break it down it's a few bucks a year to seal it and then treat it with permethrin and it's ready to go i can put it in its bag whenever i want to go out i can take it if i'm going car camping taking the kids or the grandkids with us this is an excellent choice or if i want to set it up in the yard and just let the kids play in it i'm not going to cry if the tent gets destroyed but the fact of it is is at the cost that i got it at it's amazing to have that kind of quality long term i think a lot of people give these tents bad wraps but when it comes down to it it's hard to beat for the money it really is i kind of am at the mode now where i've got a lot of young grandkids this kind of fits the bill good for taking them out to state park car camp get them used to it and then i can move them up to the backpacking and hiking so want to just cover bases with this kind of give you a two-year review see where we're at with it i'll come back if it gets destroyed i'll come back and let you guys know if if it makes it another year i'm going to come back and let you guys know because i think that there's value in it i also will be watching for people to have the updated versions and see what they come out with so until next time i'm tony with our world outdoors and we'll see you up the trail Thank you.